What's good YouTube and welcome to Chroma Mains and Lovers. Did you know 90% of players think Chroma is just a starting Warframe or is just a bad Warframe for the end game? You are wrong because previously on Chroma we did a level cap solo disruption mission. Seeing is believing, right? There you go. And now the video will leave it on the pinned comment down there. Now we're revisiting Chroma because his Vex got some love from DE. DE are uh, good, like. It's not always they deliver nerfs, sometimes they give us some good uh, stuff and my boy Chroma received some of that love. Now let's check Vex change and uh, we start with the video. And here we are, Chroma Vex armor. Previously, Overguard could prevent Chroma from benefiting from Vex armor buff since it blocked damage on health and shields. That's one thing, it's fixed. So we've made the following changes to allow players to receive the buffs through all sources of overguard. That's one problem solved. Now, melee kills will give you armor and ranged kills with your primary or secondary weapon will increase your weapon damage double to 30% for ranged weak point kills. Now, in case you didn't know, Eclipse got nerfed from multiplicative damage to additive damage. And it got lowered down, meeting the same level as uh, the um, Roar. So Roar now is the best multiplicative damage buff in the game as it buffs your abilities and your weapons. Now, now Vex Armor is the best, the best additive damage buff in the game. So in case you didn't know. Uh, uh, this has the additional perk of self-sufficiency where players have uh, mo far more control over the buff instead of having to rely on the unpredictability of damage dealt by enemies. Now, you need to know that Vex armor is recastable and that's what's gonna lead us to the beginner's friendly approach. Let's go. Starting with his passive, uh, Wing Sprout for an additional jump and bullet jump. Not so good passive, but helps a bit on the parkour on the cascade. Now, Spectral Scream, you can change the element uh, Heat, Toxin, Cold and Electricity and you bring them to the uh, enemies, uh, affected by range of course. Uh, Elemental Ward, you change the emissive of your Warframe. Uh, depends on the buff you want to receive. Heat will give you uh, health damage per second, which is 100 uh, on the heat. Statue chance uh, increase. Electricity, shield capacity, statue chance, uh, damage multiplier and uh, for, for a certain radius. Uh, toxin uh, gonna give you hosted damage and hosted damage duration, uh, reload speed and statue chance. And cold will give you armor, uh, damage multiplier and statue chance. Uh, now, it depends on your style. Vex uh, armor, if you kill enemies with melee weapon, uh, you're going to receive uh, armor buff. If you kill enemies with primary or secondary, you're going to receive uh, damage buff. Uh, all right. Now, the Vex armor can be recast, so you don't need to wait for it to just completely deplete. That's some uh, duration plays a very good role right there. EVG is the best uh, ability we use mostly for Profit Taker, as gives you the credit multiplier. Also, increase your speed at the cost of armor reduction. And for this build, we're going for the ultimate dragon uh, style. We're gonna go for two Emerald Archon Shards to, re to reach 14 stacks of corrosive to totally armor strip enemies, so we don't use any armor stripping uh, abilities. We're gonna go for two Violet Archon Shards uh, for increasing melee critical damage for the armor. Armor sucks and warfare, but it is what it is. Uh, we want the critical damage for our melee weapons, uh, as we're gonna be using a melee weapon. Now, 150 shield capacity, uh, it's a must to reach the immortality baby immortality brief respite you can change it depends on what you want but i feel it's really good the way it is it helps gives you the over shield premature footed to prevent you from knock getting knocked down if you don't like it switch it it doesn't matter fast deflection shield recharge minus shield recharge delay adaptation to adapt to damage primary direction for shield capacity primed throw for maximum energy for the viola tarkon charge to work Primate Continuity for Duration, Transfortitude for Strength and uh, Minus Ability Duration, Vigilante Vigor for Shield Recharge, Rolling Guard for Bad Situation. Uh, Arcane Aegis is a must-have in here. On Shield Damage, 3% chance for 30% Shield Recharge for 12 seconds. Arcane Energizer for Energy as we have 855 Energy, enough for you to keep Vex Armor all the time on. Now, let me show you really quick how to play this. As our helmet ability will be Nourish. Nourish will proc viral on enemies that you hit or they hit you. Also will give you damage increase on viral. And also will give you the energy multiplier and increase on health. Let's go. And here we go. The way we're gonna do this is really simple. Cast your Vex armor. And let's let these enemies try and kill us. They will fail. They will not be able to do it. They are not worthy. Look at this. I mean even we have Slash. We have it all. They will not be able to do it. Now this is good as it will give you a higher chance surviving against multiple of Thrax. One Thrax will not be able to kill you. Uh, I mean, he can, but 
it's gonna be hard okay that's why we're gonna summon like uh, 20 uh, Thraxus in a second all right there we go boom 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 and we are at maximum buff for our uh, Vex armor, there you go, 426% damage buff on Fury, and 542% uh, armor buff. Now, for the real deal, let's summon some Thrax, which you're waiting for, right? Alright, you wanna see Papa Hang Fallen, let's go. Thrax, Centurion. Let's go, 20 of them, uh, level 225. Uh, now, these guys are really tough and does a great amount of damage, you don't want to uh, trifle with. Okay, you want to kill them, you want to pay attention uh, and uh, practice your uh, reaction time. Vex armor should be always active. You will never fight this amount of Thraxis ever in your life in any game mode. Okay, unless the E release for us a new game mode where we fight just Thraxis for uh, amazing legendary arcanes. Okay, now you're going to armor strip those enemies uh, with uh, the two Emerald Darkon shards, reaching 14 stacks of uh, Corrosive. Okay, as you can see, just by jumping around and just, you can, you can survive these guys. You don't want to tank them. They're really mean and tough. Okay, and no amount of shield will help you right here. Okay, uh, what helps you here is, uh, your shield actually is helping, but not by standing still and trying to tank them. Okay, their damage is way, 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 way uh, high. Okay, so what you do, you're going to take down their uh, overguard, and then you're going to be Magus locked down, dashing with your operator, as you can see they're locked okay the ones with overguard will not be locked but the ones with their locked. and as you can see all of them are armor stripped all right then what you want to do use your void strike there you go proper scaffold or uh, you know or up like prism or any amp you have will work okay and keep always vex armor active not like me i just forgot right there because i was showing you uh, the operator the rotation is really really simple let me kill these guys and summon for you one trax only so you understand what I'm talking about. Hopefully he doesn't die before I showcase. Okay, there you go. So this is the Thrax guy. All right, here you go. The viral from Nourish will help a lot. Okay, I don't want to kill you, bro. Okay, here he is. He's dead. Anyway, so what you want to do is the moment the overguard is down, you want to, like, Magus look down the guy so he doesn't damage you a lot. So you, you get the point. Let's go to uh, Void Cascade and check how we can do that. And here we are in Void Cascade. The way this works is really simple. You want to have more Exolizers than the enemy. Now, this is an Equalizer uh, protected by the Void Gates. You shoot them with your Amp and then you hit the Void Manifestation and the Thrax will spawn. Now, the Thrax, you can, uh, like, uh, dodge him or kite him, like so, right? Keep your Vex armor always active and your Nourish always active. Now, try to land headshots for the Incarnate form on your Burston. And then uh, killing him is uh, easy as that. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba, and he's down. Now, when he's in this form, you shoot him with your operator amp and he's down. Proper scaffold or uh, Raplak Prism and you're good to go. And remember, there is a Fisher uh, on this uh, mode. Now, so that makes it the best game mode in the game right now. And you keep repeating the same thing. Right? Don't worry about those enemies nearby. They will not be able to kill you so easy. Just kite the Praxis. And you're good to go. And always, always kill enemies near the equalizer to keep the charge at maximum. Even one equalizer with a lot of enemies around it, they are dead. Can survive against even three equalizers taken by the enemy. Right? Now, every time we see our uh, equalizer being attacked by Thrax, we want to move right there. Simple as that. And of course, make some more active and killing enemies with your... Uh, Primary or secondary, that's how you get the fury for boosting your damage. Mamma mia. Look at that. Boom. Easy as that. And you keep going and going, taking the prime parts and killing those Thraxes, getting the arcanes. Also, doing it on Steel Path, of course, uh, the Oculites will spawn and you will get the Steel Essences. Right? Just uh, make sure always uh, you are... Uh, more equalizers than the enemy. There you go. Same style, same thing. Take down the overguard. There you go. You see, that's uh, so much fun, yeah? There you go. Boom. Bada beam. That's uh, extract. 
Starting with the builds, the Burston build, boom, using Serration because I'm not using any additive damage arcane on my Warframe. The Evolutions, Evolution 2, Forceful Finality, Evolution 3, Kinetic Battle, Evolution 4, Absolute Valor. Dual Toxicus is there just for a backup, you can switch to any other weapon like Ukukur to clear nearby uh, enemies. There you go, Evolution 2, uh, Fevered Frenzy, Evolution 3, Ready Retaliation, Evolution 4, Commodore Fortune go and this is the build now the glaive uh, electricity built with viral uh, on the uh, nourish with melee influence uh, to clear uh, enemies madurai for void strike you can use uh, vazarin if you feel you can't handle the uh, shield gate and so, so on to dash to your on yourself for be be being uh, invulnerable for any uh, type of damage you can use your nairo if you want but i highly recommend just madurai will be more than enough uh, now for Nautilus build, we're going to be using uh, this uh, build, Shield Recharge, Tenacious Bond, Manifold, uh, the rest of the mods you're familiar uh, with. Uh, Vol Clock uh, for Tenacious Bond uh, to work and with the full Vigilante set uh, to enhance critical hits. Uh. And the emissive uh, we use for this uh, is Toxin. Use a couple of green colors and you're good to go. If you don't like that, you can switch it to whatever you want, uh, Heat, Electricity or Cold. And now let's say you want to go for the Eidolon Hunt. Very simple, you want to switch Vex Armor with Roar. Because Vex Armor, there is no nearby enemies that you can activate it with. Simple as that. Especially you are a shield tank. Now, if you want to go for the Profit Taker, very simple. Use this build. Mamma mia, very good stuff. Putting the Fire Walker will prevent any statue effects from the Profit Taker or nearby enemies to hit you. Vex Armor will work perfectly because there is a lot of nearby enemies uh, and here is some fashion's idea and all of it on the channel, the Zone Log skin. Look at that, this is model D, this is model C, this is B, and this is uh, A. And by this we come to an end to our video, let me know how much you like this build in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like, sub and join our Discord, the link on the description. Peace and love and uh, Chroma forever baby.